Good morning, good morning, fam. It's your boy Black at you with another video. This one, I'm gonna call this one here Obesity in the Black Community. African American adults are nearly 1.5 times as likely to be obese compared with white adults. Approximately 48% of African Americans are obese compared to white boys and white women. More than the same 5% of African Americans are overweight or obese. Mm -mm -mm. That's like 67% of whites and 63% of their women are obese. You know, there's a, a difference between fat and obese. You know, we like our women thick, you know, but it's really a little fat. And you got them obese motherfuckers, especially the ones rolling around them fucking little electric chairs and shit inside them. Um, the Walmart and shit, snatch up all the chips and cookies and shit. You be so fucking low against that shit there. You know, but anyway, overweight and obesity rates also tend to be high among African-American children, you know. 35% of African-American children ages between 2 and 9 are overweight. And 20% are obese. We got to watch what we're feeding our kids, you know. We can't be feeding them the, um, the chips, the cookies, um, sodas, and all the bullshit, quarter waters and shit like that. I mean, especially that goddamn pork. Get them kids off that pork. You know, we don't need that, you know. It's like, what we feeding our kids? You know, we love our kids, but the ones that's giving them all this bullshit, the pork chops, the Kool-Aid, the chips and candy... They really kill them slowly to tell the damn truth. So I said, if you love your kid, don't give them that shit. Try not to, you know. I know it go, it's a reason for economics, you know. Some are poor, some are barely making, so I'm not going to eat what the guy is eating. But um, you know, try to give him some more veggies and fruits and things like that, you know. Try to keep him a little healthy. All I could do is try. That's what I'm saying, you know. 8% of African American residents you know that we live in areas where there's not many supermarkets. You know, compared to like about thirty one percent of whites with the residents, they got a lot of supermarkets out there. I know that for a fact, you know. They got Kroger's, Publix, Walmart, a whole bunch of other goddamn shit. Why in the hood? We don't have like fucking AMP C Town. That's the old school shit. They might still got that shit out there. You know, now you got these Arab markers and shit and you got the chinks and shit. The Arabs don't give a fuck about us. They're not gonna give us no fresh fruits and vegetables, and especially at them goddamn chinks, you know. The mother need to left that goddamn, what's that shit on? The Chinese food they got out there, that fucking rat and cats they been serving this shit. You know, a lot of brothers from, oh yeah, I, I eat the, the shrimp fried rice. You know what the fuck they put inside that damn shrimp? They're in, injecting that shit with fucking silicone. You know, so they just killing black motherfuckers like, they don't really give a fuck, you know. They really don't. You know, they don't, as long as they make a profit of, of, of that, they gonna can't keep, they gonna keep on doing that shit. You know, especially our kids. You know, we got to get them kids out the house, you know. Kids come home from school, what they do? They want to play video games, be on the cell phone, Facebook, Twitter, and what's that shit, Instagram, and all those other bullshit they on all got time. But they're not moving. They sit down all day in school, kick back when they get home, eat some chips and cookies, and get fucking fat. You know, got to get them kids, get them, get them, get them kids, get the fuck out of the house for a couple of hours. Make them get out of the house. Make them fucking do something, you know. Walk around, run, you know, like we was kids, you know. We did a lot of things because we didn't have all these fucking um, electronic games and shit like that, you know. We had to play games. We had to think of shit, you know. But like games like what? Like fucking climb trees. Um, there's a lot of guys. I can't fucking think of goddamn games now, you know. Scullies, you know, with the types and shit there. Yeah. You know, climbing on fucking monkey balls, climbing trees. Kids of days, they don't know how to climb a fucking tree. You know, tug of war, um, kickball, all that shit there, you know, stickball. Well, that's how we have fun. These little kids nowadays don't do that, you know, but we can point the kids. But the parents ain't doing shit neither. We got to make them do that, you know. You know, the mothers and fathers, we got to take time, you know, go outside with them kids, you know. Run around them, play with them, especially at a young age. There's no fucking, it makes no sense for a kid that's between two and five years old to be fucking obese. You got kids now fucking eight, nine years old being diagnosed with diabetes and shit. Where this shit come from, you know? And then, and motherfucking, they still getting fed too. McDonald's and Burger King and the Hardee's and all this other bullshit. We got to get kids some vegetables and some fruits, you know? Cut down their diet, you know? Now, I'll tell you like this here. I was diagnosed with diabetes about 
two months ago. Two fucking months ago, I go to Doc. He's like, he said, Black at you. I'm like, what's up, Doc? He said, you got diabetes too. And I was like, ain't this a fucking bitch here? You know, so for that whole month, I cut the white fucking bread out, the fried chicken, the um, sodas, fruit juice, any of that. Just drunk water, multi-grain bread, got more veggies, more collard greens and kales in my damn system. So I hit the gym like a motherfucker, lost 20 pounds, went back to the goddamn doctor, got me another blood sugar test. Wow, shit was fucking down. Five, five. No. So I'm saying, if I can do that, anybody can do that shit there. Damn sure, anybody can do it. The whole thing's about trying to prevent these, the, um, catching these, these fucking diseases, you know? Because once you catch that disease, that doctor's going to give you some fucking pills, some medicine, and tell you, hey, take this here two times a day. So most likely a motherfucker's going to take that shit two, two times a day and still go out and give him a three-piece fucking spicy from Popeye's and shit and still continue on. You know, with the same eating habits, you got to change your eating habits. Things got to change. You got to exercise, you know, at least three times a week. Get your ass in that gym, you know. I say, as far as us men, our brothers, you know, we like our, our queens a little meat on them. You know, we like a little ass and tits on them. That's true, but um, we can't let them get fat. You know, if I say, brother, if you love your woman, that's your queen, your girlfriend, you know, your wifey, you know. Get, you know, get that little gym plan, you know what I'm saying? Get the family package and shit. You know, go to the gym. That's something, that's something, that's cool to do. You and your woman working out and shit. You know, take the kids too. Take all everybody, the whole fucking family out there, you know. Get your little workout on. I tell you, ain't nothing sexy than seeing your woman sweat. And you go home, get that shower, and get some good loving after that, dear, you know. That's what you care about her. I will suggest you do that, dear. You know. But, um... I'm going to keep this video here real short. But y'all know what got to be done. We are the ones that's dying here. African Americans of diabetes, high blood pressure, you know. We got all that. But the shit can be prevented and it can be re reversed. You know, listen to Dr. C.B., you know. I would suggest you do that. Check out his nutritional plan. How he tell you all the things to eat and not to eat. You know, the good water, the alkaline, alkaline water. You know, you could buy some... Um, 35% hydrogen peroxide, a couple of drops of that in your water every day, you know, for about a month, you know. Start with like three drops, the next day add another drop, the next day add another drop, so you get like about to 25, then start breaking it back down. I guarantee you shit gonna change your life. I, I just started that, man, a couple of days ago. Dropped a couple of drops in my damn water, some distilled water that I use. I felt energy like a motherfucker in the gym, you know, so there's things that we can do to prevent these diseases. You know, like they said, in your body, if you have no mucus, no disease can fucking harm you, you know? And there's little things like herbs. We gotta get back to herbs. We African people, you know? Herbs, you wanna kill mucus, you get some um, oregano, moulin leaves, and cayenne pepper. Take some of that every day for about, I'll say just a month. Just keep taking it kill that mucus in your chest, you know, all your respiratory system, everything will clear up, you know, you got black people walk around here, got them guts, most of all, oh, those are 40 guts, nah, those ain't no 40 guts, those are years of eating bullshit ass food, hamburgers, chicken, french fries, all, whatever you can fucking think of, just the food that we always eat, every fucking day, we don't think nothing about it, but it's fucking killing us, you know, inside that big ass stomach, that gut you got there, the men and the damn women, those are worms, you know, like candida. You got to clean that stuff out. And the way you're going to clean that stuff out there is get you a good detox. You know, you got to detox your liver, detox your colon, you know. You can stuff every morning. What I su would suggest is boil some water, cut your lemon up, grade you some ginger in there, put the ginger in there, take about three cloves of garlic, chop that shit up, put it inside there, and get you some honey. And pour it aside. Drink that for seven days. I guarantee, but, but drink on an empty stomach. I guarantee them goddamn worms shit gonna come out your ass because you're gonna be shitting and watch that stomach go down. So, females, you know, y'all want that stomach to get, go down. You want that summertime body look nice and sweet. Take that. And the bus too. Take some of that shit. Get some of that bullshit out. 40, 40 years of eating bullshit. Time to get your ass cleansed. 
you know, that nasty shit, and you walk around shit stinking like a motherfucker because your body is fucked up. You got to give it a good cleansing, you no know, good colon cleansing, clean your live out, get you some milk dizzle. You know, your body got to get clean. You know, go to sauna, sweat some of that shit out too. You know, things, things that I'm telling you, everybody can do that. Everybody. I don't care what your um the situation is as far as income, economically wise, it's something you can do to help yourself. You know, all you gotta do, first step is that you gotta want to, you gotta give a fuck. You know. But I suggest, I advise, please do that, you know. Especially for them kids. Cut all the sugar stuff out to them kids. They don't need all that sugar stuff. Cut that that white wonder bread and all that bullshit to them. You know, that's fucking killing them. I'm sick of seeing little kids fucking waddling around the goddamn store and shit. Wanting chips and cookies and stuff. Not asking for an apple or nothing like that. You know, that shit that we got to do, eat better, take care of yourself, and exercise. You know, take care of your family. If you love them, take care of your family. You know, like I said, I'm out. I'm kept. Not one a little long out, so I thought it was going to be. But it's still a short video. And I hope it's informative, and I hope some y'all liked it and enjoyed it, and y'all going to take heed to what I say. You know, if you like my video, hit the like button. No comment, no bad or good, doesn't mean, don't mean a thing. But I'd like you also to subscribe to Black Gatcha. You no, know, because I'm going to hit you with some videos. I'm going to try at least maybe three times a week. Three times a week. I promise I'm putting something out there. If you like what I talk about, join the fam. Okay, I'm out here. Black Gatcha.